Welcome to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create the game Stack Colors in Unity. For this lesson, we're going to be coding the interaction between the player object and the pickup objects. Now, if this is the first video of this series that you're watching, make sure that you start at the beginning as there's a lot of stuff that you need to do before this video. All right, so for creating the interaction between the player object and the pickups, we're gonna dive right into our player controller script. Now there's some new variables that we need to add to this script. The first is of type transform and it's called parent pickup. This variable is going to be set to the first pickup object that our player interacts with. The second variable that we need to add is a serialized field of type transform called stack position. Once we've created these variables, we need to add an onTriggerEnter function to this script. Now for those of you that haven't heard of this function, this is a special function just like the start and update function but this function only executes when another object enters any trigger zones that we have attached to this object. This function also requires a parameter of type collider, which I've called other. Inside this function, if you'd like, you could debug out the other object to see what it is, but I'm just going to comment that line out. But what we really want to do inside this function is first check to see what the tag of the other object is. So I have if other dot tag equals and then the string pickup and the string needs to be exactly the same as we set the tag for our pickup prefab. And so if the object that enters our trigger zone is a pickup, we then want to make that pickup object a part of our player object and stack all the pickups on top of each other. So first off, I'm getting the transform of the other object. So I have a local variable of type transform called other transform, and I'm setting it equal to other.transform.parent. This will give us the empty game object that is the parent to each of our pickup prefabs. Next up, we want to get the rigid body from this other object. And so I have another local variable of type rigid body called other RB, and we're setting it equal to other transform.get component, and we're looking for rigid body. Next up, we want to set that rigid body to be kinematic. And so I have other RB dot is kinematic and we're setting it equal to true. After which we want to disable the collider that belongs to this object. And since the other variable is of type collider, we can just do other dot enabled equals false. And that'll disable the collider of this pickup prefab. Now the next thing that we want to do is set this pickup prefab to be a child to our player object and we want to position it in the correct spot. So next up we have this condition where I'm checking to see if our parent pickup variable is equal to null. If it is, then inside this if statement we're setting the parent pickup variable equal to the other transform. We then want to set the position of this pickup and so I have parent pickup dot position equals stack position dot position. Then finally inside this if statement we want to set the parent of our pickup to be our player object. And so I have parent pickup dot parent equals stack position. Now next up we have an else statement for if our parent pickup variable is not equal to null, meaning it's already been set. If this is the case then we want to move Move up our stack on the y-axis and add the new pickup to the bottom of our stack. And so inside this else statement, I have parent pickup dot position plus equals vector three dot up multiplied by other transform dot local scale dot y. This will make it so that our stack only moves up the height of the new pickup, so that we can perfectly fit the new pickup underneath it. The next line of code, we're setting other transform dot position equal to stack position dot position. We then want to set the parent of this pickup to be the first pickup that we ever got. So we have other transform dot parent equals parent pickup. This will make it so that when we move our parent pickup object up, it'll move up all of its children as well. So once you have all this, let's go ahead and save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we'll want to select our player object and we actually want to make a change to this prefab and that is to create a transform to hold the stack position. So you'll want to right click on your player object and then select create empty. I've then renamed this to stack. Then all we have to do is set the Z position to be about 0.6. After which we can go back to the parent player object and we we'll want to select the stack object and drag it into the stack position variable. And we can now overwrite this prefab. To test this out, let's duplicate a couple more pickup objects.
I can move my player object and as you can see we can now pick up our pickup objects. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson. Make sure that you like this video, leave any questions you have in the comments below, and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all the latest videos.